hello and welcome to Reset Your Journey. I'm Rose and Glenn's behind the camera. And we've been at our home base for a couple weeks now, but we're gearing up to get back out on the road. And we thought you'd appreciate a video about all those RV essentials to get out there too. Okay, we definitely consider a level to be something essential when you're getting out and getting started in RVing. Whether you have a motorhome, fifth wheel or trailer, it doesn't matter. This is something that is reliable. It doesn't fail, it is lightweight, it's inexpensive, and it's easy to keep anywhere in tight spaces. We also have these Camco levels on the side of our rig, one on the side, one on the front. Now these came with this used, so thank you Scott for putting them on because they're great to eyeball and get everything kind of set, but this is very precise and can be moved and it's just easy to use. So again, I consider something like that essential. You don't need a really big one. It takes up too much space and it's too heavy. Okay, they're not that heavy, but you don't need a big one. Our home base just happens to be right in town. So it's really loud here. So if you get some really loud clips, sorry about that. This is an Anderson leveler. Why is it essential? This makes leveling your rig from side to side so easy not as much of an application for a motorhome, but for a travel trailer and a fifth wheel. This makes life so much easier. You have a power leveling system. We've come across individuals where theirs have failed and they did not have something like this as a backup. This is just too easy to keep on hand for a backup. So I highly recommend this. Now all the things that we're talking about today, we'll list in the description to make it easier to find. Okay, you finally got leveled. But you need something to keep your wheels from moving before you do anything else and unhitch that thing. These are heavy duty black rubber chocks. They work incredibly well. They're not super lightweight, but they're relatively lightweight. And we put them on no matter where we are, when we stop, whether it's flat, on a hill, before we unhitch, always use these. This is a Camco leveling block. Now we use this for multiple things. It's really designed to be piled up and go underneath of your stabilizer so the stabilizer does not have to come down quite as far. And that equates to a better or more stable rig. But we also use them underneath the tongue jack so that I don't have to put as many blocks down or blocks of wood that is, and then I can pile these up. The less that tongue jack has to come down and up, since it's not power, it's more jacking. So it's better for me. Now, they can also be used under your tires to level your rig, but they slide and it's not so good. So call that a backup because we've never used them for that. Now, there's one more thing that we've used them for that is awesome. And I never would have thought this, and it makes me want to keep an additional set in the truck, is when we get stuck in the mud, and yes, it happens. When we get stuck in the mud, we line these up in front of or in behind the tires that are stuck and literally roll right out from the mud. It's amazing, but you need a shovel to dig these out. So we consider these essential. This video is for you if you're looking to get out there quickly and only buy what you need. We have other lists of essentials on our website at resetyourjourney.com where you can find more stuff for boondocking, nice to have items, etc. Dump number 999. All right, guys, dump after dump. This particular slinky has stood the test of time. And trust me, we dump a lot. There's a few key things I do want to point out though, and it doesn't have anything to do with the clear see-through. I mean, this part's fun for the kids. You can guess why. The important thing here is that you have an extra hose that fits and works with the same model or is exactly the same model. Why? Because you might be in line, you've just pulled up to the dump station, you have 10 people behind you waiting to dump, impatient as can be, and you're too far away and you need to reposition your rig. Or you just pull this guy out, slap it on, and you have that extra distance. So do yourself a favor and have one primary and one additional that works to extend if you need it so that you don't have to reposition. It's worth it. Not a dog toy. This essential item just happens to be an adapter that allows you to go from a 50 amp 
to a 30 amp. Now our rig is 30 amps. So we have two of these. The first one, like this, allows me to plug into a 50 amp plug and then plug my 30 amp plug here and go ahead and run power. Now I don't get 50 amps of draw, I can't. I only draw whatever is coming from the power source. They also make one that is 15 amp to 30 amp. Now you're only pulling 15 amp through there, but allows me to plug into someone's outlet in their house at their driveway. And why is this essential? Because eventually you're going to pull in somewhere, and if you're not boondocking and running off your generators and solar, you might pull into a boondocker's welcome and all they have is a 15 amp plug-in. That's the difference between you having electricity and not having electricity. So, having that on board at all times is imperative. If you have a 50 amp rig, do the conversions. You know which ones you need to buy, but always have a conversion to a 30 or 50 and then to a 15 to whatever you're running to. Oh, the beauty of water. All right, you gotta stay hydrated, right? So we happen to live off of our freshwater tank, so we're constantly filling that tank. But regardless of whether you're using city water, in other words, you're running the water straight into your rig and through your plumbing system, or you're running off of your tanks, you're gonna need hoses. You're gonna need filters. A potable water hose is imperative. You don't use this for anything else. Now, on our list, I suggest buying a 50-foot hose. We happen to have a 25-foot, and guess what? Many times, it's not long enough. So I have another 50 foot right here. So now we actually have 75 feet, and we never need any more than that. But if you buy 50, I've never come across a situation where you're gonna need more than that. Now, filters. Everybody talks about filtering water. We have found that changing this inline every six months, and I always leave this on the hose, no matter what, when I go and I find water to fill our tank with, this is the first thing that's attached. It's always on. This attaches to the bib. Run our hose through here. I test the water. Now we've been in places like uh, Yellowstone and the water's amazing. I don't want to filter it that much. So I just run it through this one. But then if I've you know done the hand cup and oh this water tastes bad, I move on to the secondary filter. This is this guy. I put this on our list because it costs less than some of the competitors, but the thing works so well. It's easy to use, it's easy to clean, and if you have a system in your home, you already know that these canisters are common, and that's really all we're dealing with, so you don't need anything complicated. So this guy goes into the bib, runs through this filter, runs through our hose, then goes through here, gets filtered through this, and then this just goes in the fresh water tank and we fill our tank and the water has always tasted great and there's never been an issue. Now, I put this out here and it's on the list and we don't use this very often because we don't stay in campgrounds very often. But this is a water pressure regulator and you can see ours has set around for a while. Now this goes on before you attach to this and diminishes the pressure coming out of some campgrounds water faucets because it might be too much for your PEX plumbing in your rig and you don't want to blow that out. So that prevents that. Lightweight and expensive, no matter whether you're going to boondock all the time, keep that on hand. If you want your water to taste really good all the time, keep one of these on hand. And no matter what you do, only use your potable hoses for your drinking water. All right, so that's it. That's our list of RV essentials, only the ones you really need to get out there right now. We hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down the road.
is just